website is www.karenpage.com. She's the author of My Life Across the Table. She is the only psychic to address the people at NASA. Great lady. I've had a great hour. Karen, thank you ever so much for joining us. Uh, I love what you do. and um, Thank you. You've got to end the story. Oh, I, I'm, I'm going to make this quick. So my mother and I walk through the mm-hmm. house, and we get to the back bedroom that's going to be my mother's, and we open it up, and it's about 88 degrees outside. Yeah. It's sunny. It's hot. And this room is like an icebox. All the window, all the windows are open. All the shades are open. Mm-hmm. Everything is open. Only this room, no light comes in. Wow. And there is what I call cold, and then there is dead cold. And I walked in that room, and I went, oh, dear. And my mother stepped in and literally leapt back out into the hallway. And we closed that door never to open it again. That was the beginning of a nightmare for several months of my mother and I being chased out of the house until I had a holiday party And everybody that walked in the bathroom was chased out of the bathroom because these, whoever was in the house, Mm -hmm. would chase them out of the bathroom. So I finally said to my mom, and things would fly across the room and miss my head by an inch and shatter in the fireplace. And I said to my mother, we're moving. And I went to the owner and I said, who died in that back bedroom? And he said, he wouldn't look at me, and I said, who died in that back bedroom? And he said to me, he told me that he had inherited the house from his, that was after I grabbed his collar. Um, And you you, you let him to start, you let it, you took your hand off his throat, and he was able to breathe again. Pretty much, yeah, yeah, that you were there. (laughs) (laughs) He told me that his uh, two aunts, who had been vaudeville dancers, used to entertain the the troops Mm -hmm. in this house because it had a a kitchen that was the size of a small hotel's catering kitchen in this little two-bedroom house and that they had both they had built that house with every dime they ever earned and both of them died in that back bedroom and never left that house and i realized that that weird feeling i had when i walked in the front door they thought i was like them and I looked at this guy and I said, "If you, and when they realized my mother was moving in with me, mm-hmm. I, I, they, they, were, they threw us out of the house, chased us out of there. And that was before I learned how to clean, clean, spiritually clean properties and to help them transition you know, the and, next, and leave. The next time you're on, we'll have to talk about cleaning properties and... and, and um, spirits good spirits bad spirits uh, but oh yeah this hour has gone by so fast karen once again thank you so much for joining us great talking to you and I it look, was a pleasure i look forward to the next time you join us back here in the Zone, where you're always welcome me too thank karen, you you take care of yourself little lady exo nation our guest this hour karen page Amongst other things, she is the author of My Life Across the Table. Her website is www.karenpage.com. That's www.karenpage.com. Well, I have to say so long for this hour. Exxon Nation will be back on the other side of the news at six and a half minutes past the hour as the Exxon continues with yours truly, Rob McConnell, from our broadcast center in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada, and around the world on the Exxon Broadcast Network and the Canadian News Network, Sirius Satellite Network, and radio stations and satellite programming affiliates worldwide. If you'd like to send me an email, exone at exoneradiotv.com, and I'll be back in six and a half minutes past the hour. Don't go away. <laughs>